What is active learning? Rather than sitting quietly and listening, active learning involves problem solving, creating projects, or playing educational games. It promotes analysis, synthesis, and evaluation of class content. Active learning can take many forms and can be adapted to suit the needs of a particular child. Whatever form it takes, it should always have an element of interaction with the material being learned. What is the difference between active and passive learning? Passive learning is a traditional method of learning. This style is teacher-centered, where students learn by listening and watching the content being presented to them. On the other hand, active learning promotes student-centered learning. This style involves active participation, critical thinking, and problem solving. Although passive learning is cost-effective, being active helps students feel like they are part of the learning. It encourages high levels of engagement to help the student understand and process new content. Active Learning Benefits It is widely believed that students learn more when they are part of the learning. When students are busy doing something, it means they can focus on their learning for longer. There are many benefits of using active learning methods, including increased engagement and motivation in learning, increased understanding and retention of knowledge, increased self-confidence, improved problem-solving skills, development of communication, collaboration, and teamwork skills, ability to apply knowledge in the real world, and strengthens creative thinking abilities. With the right guidance and resources, students can become more engaged and involved in their learning, helping them to get the most of their educational experience. How can I incorporate active learning? There are several ways to incorporate active learning in a student's educational experience. Encourage open-ended questions. Open-ended questions will help students become engaged with the material. Go further and ask them to think of their own questions and research the answers. Allow for collaboration. Collaboration will encourage students to share their knowledge and learn from others. Create projects. Projects such as writing a story or creating an art piece will let students express themselves creatively while learning something new. Make sure to create plenty of opportunities for hands-on experiences whenever possible. Provide them with different types of resources. Give students access to educational websites, books, magazines, and other materials to explore. Different types of resources will allow them to discover information in a variety of ways. Give them practical activities and educational games. Remember that active learning should be fun, engaging, and a rewarding way to learn. Encourage students to explore and find out more about the things that interest them. Educational games will help them build problem solving and critical thinking skills. Practical activities like taking trips, visiting libraries and museums, or having conversations about what they are learning at school will increase their motivation to keep learning new things. Everyone learns differently, and it helps to take an individual approach when it comes to active learning. Overall, have fun with it, and good luck creating an engaging educational experience for your students. 
For more information and resources related to active learning, head to twinkle.com.